Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is the first official class through um, electronic <clears throat> class. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. I hope that um, you are able to access this. Um, I will be posting some different things on YouTube and then putting them in Google Classroom. Uh, I will also jump on Instagram on the BAM page to let you know when I post things. Make sure that you are subscribing to the YouTube page. Um, for many of you, YouTube might be one of the easiest ways in order to <clears throat> access things. Um, so if you will just make sure uh, the channel is actually under my name. Okay, and um, it's got all the different things in there. So make sure that it, it started a couple weeks ago, and it's it's actually got show stuff from previous. But if you're not yet subscribing to that page, go ahead and subscribe to that page. Um, I just want to welcome you to what we're going to try to do here. Yes, I do get my Corona cut uh, since uh, my my every few months haircut is going to be shut down. I went ahead and just took care of that myself. Um, so what we're going to do here is a combination of a few things. Uh, I told you that I was going to try to post things daily <clears throat> and I still am. Some Mondays will probably be the longest uh, videos because I kind of try to do a bunch of things. And then do small things um, throughout the week where uh, you can ask questions and I'll try to answer things um, and do some things like that. Um, so what we're going to try to do very simply is we, we're looking at the goals, kind of what are we trying to accomplish during this time? I know that you're taking a lot of classes and doing a lot of things with your um, core classes. Uh, I am going to do my best to not interfere with that because I know a lot of you have a lot of things you're trying to do, um, finish and trying to get those grades done. My main goal is two things. One is to make sure that you have the opportunity to raise and keep your grade from the third nine weeks so that you can finish the year with the grade, the letter grade that, that you deserve. Second is to go ahead and get us ready for next year. Um, seniors, I'm going to do some different things for you, and um, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more individually. Um, for everyone else, our goal is to learn as much show and new stand tune music for next year during this time. Uh, we don't know exactly what the summer is going to entail. We, we don't know about the start of school. We don't really know about any of those things. So we need to be prepared because I will tell you the other groups, the other bands that we're going to be seeing, they're doing the exact same thing. So it's really incumbent on us to, to be prepared for what we need to do so we can start and have um, next season be what we want it to be and not be blaming it on where we couldn't because blank. Okay, uh, so what we're going to do is every week, we're going to look at a section uh, starting with the show pieces. We're going to start with another brick in the wall this week and start looking through some things. I'm going to help you count through some things and then you will be able to to play and send uh, short recordings to Google Classroom. I'm going to try to keep everything short because I know some of you have uploading issues. So um, we'll try to keep the section small so that you're not having that issue with, with large audio files. No video files, all audio files. Do not try to send videos. Okay. Um, then by the end of May, we will do that chair placement and part placement 
um, assignment that I put on Google Classroom. That is scales. That's playing um, a section from one of the show tunes. And I will also post something that is a small sight reading exercise. This will determine what chair you start in next year and what part you play during marching band season. Um, and for those of you wondering, yes, this does involve the eighth graders as well. Okay, Ms. Chambliss is, is sending that message out to the eighth graders. They're going to be joining the Google Classroom and um, going along the same way. Okay. And what I would say is more than anything else is y'all know that I try as much as possible. It's about your playing. Okay, so if there's an eighth grader or a ninth grader or a tenth grader who is doing the work versus a upcoming 11th and 12th grader, then that's what I have to go off of. Okay. Um, so make sure that you are spending the time that you think is warranted in order for you to um, give me your best uh, result. Okay. All right. So one of the things I would say as we're thinking um, for marching band, there are two big things that you need to be doing in order to get ready for marching band next year. Thing one. You need to be doing breathing exercises or exercising and doing a little bit of both. Okay. Y'all know that when we come back, a lot of times it takes us a long time to get our bodies ready uh, to play. If we don't have all that time, it's going to take longer to build up the lungs and the air that we need. Okay. So I would, on my own, do some of these breathing exercises, okay? You can do the in for four, out for fours, okay? You can try to do the sips. You can try to do a lot of these things, okay? Uh, if you're on your own, then you don't have to worry about what it looks like, okay? But trying to, to open here, open down here, Okay, try to open all this up so that you're building all of this so that when we come back, it is not uh, starting all the way over because you will have not played in a group for three months. Okay, and if you think about it, think about what it sounds like when we come back from a normal summer <coughs> and how long it takes to build that up. Okay, so that's one, breathing. The second thing is you've got to you've got to play, okay. Whether it's just playing through things, if it's just a little bit every day, just playing a little bit, keeping these muscles together. These muscles will be the first thing to go, okay. And then it'll take you most of marching band season to get them back, all right. Which means we will be past competitions and you will just be getting your embouchure back okay so you got to do those two things even if it's just mouthpiece work okay it's building these muscles doing what you need to do all right you can play all kinds of different things but but we've got to be playing in some way if you literally do not play from three weeks ago until the start of marching band season you are going to struggle badly okay we've got to make sure that we're we're doing some playing now um as we're getting into the music all right what i'd like to do in and the tutorial that i put up yesterday hopefully you should be in google classroom that's one Subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's two. Three, um, make sure, obviously, on the remind. Obviously, you're already on the remind. That's fine. Okay. Those are the three things that I'm going to do the most in. All right. For, for all of us, I think those three things are three things we can all do. All right. Yesterday's tutorial was to show you how to access Google Classroom through your gaming console. Um, you can access it through your phone, you can access it through a tablet, through a laptop, what, whatever it is, okay, um, to where you can see these different things.
So what I have done is I have mine set up on my TV. Okay. I'll give it a second to realize what's going on. So what I have is I have the music up on my TV, right? And if you're not sure how to do this, go back and listen to the uh, tutorial from yesterday. So what I would like to do from here is <clears throat> go through um, some of the parts with you, uh, do them slowly, kind of talk through them um, in order for you to go ahead and start on another brick in the wall. And again, this music is on Google Classroom. Um, if, if you absolutely needed another way, uh, I, I can take a picture of it, of your part and send it through you, to you through a mind. If, if you're really struggling to get things to pop up on Google classroom that way, but I'm only, I'll only do that individually. I'm not going to sit here and, and send pictures to every person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to record these in the morning. Um, and then post them. Then from noon to three, uh, Miss Miss Green and I will be available to help you out to answer questions. Um, we are going to try to use WebEx for some. We're going to try to use Google Meet for some. Um, that way, more or less, what I'm going to do is have it available so that. Uh, you can come on and ask questions as needed. Now, what we'll do is today, I will more or less going to keep that open this afternoon and and be available. Uh, check your remind. I'll send out a, a code to where you can join in. Um, what we will do on different days is we'll start splitting it up into sections um, where we'll try to concentrate on different instruments. That way we don't have a hundred people trying to join in at one time. We can keep it to about 15 to 20. Uh, that way it doesn't get too overwhelming and we can ask questions and, and do some different things that way. Um, uh, so I'll get that information out to you this afternoon as well. Okay. Now what I'm going to do when it comes to, um, uh, teaching these parts is I have here on my sheet the, the different parts so at this point because it's already been about 10 12 minutes at this point what I'm going to do is kind of go through the individual parts now it's not incumbent on you to go through all these parts all right now if you are trying to be a section leader drum major um, leadership in some way it might be worth going through so it'll help you learn all the parts it'll help you learn the music but if you are just focusing on your part what i will do is i will hold up this sheet and kind of point to a different section that way as you're on youtube you can kind of scroll to your section and you don't literally have to sit here through each and every one okay um, so this will be up in a little bit, um, and then from noon to three, Miss Green and I will will be available to take questions. You can ask your questions through Remind. You can ask your questions through Google Classroom, and we'll also send out a thing uh, if you want to meet up in GroupMe or WebEx, and we'll try to do that as well. Our goal in through this is just to be available and to try to to keep us going, keep us on a schedule. Because um, if you're like me. Um, I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing being at school. I'm missing seeing y'all. I'm missing working with you. I'm missing making and creating what, what we do. Um, and I'm honestly starting to get a little bored. Okay. We've, I know the, the state just shut down on Saturday, but we've been more or less shut down for three weeks. Um, and I'm starting to go a little, um, crazy. So, try to do some of these things it'll help as you're going through things um, there are different things you can do if you are interested in more music than just this stuff if you want to um, do some solo things some duet things i do have that kind of information 
uh, just send me a message to remind and, and let me know. And I, I can send you music. Um, that way you can work on some different things and, and go back and forth and maybe do some individual stuff for yourself or you and somebody else. Okay. All right. So um, hopefully we'll be in touch. Uh, I look forward to hearing your voices and, and seeing your questions and comments and, and then being able to hear uh, you do some playing. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the flutes. All right, so if you're not a flute, you can go ahead and start scrolling to the next section. All right, flutes. So in Another Brick in the Wall, um, it starts with a couple of measures of rest for you. And this is uh, flute one and two. Uh, some of you, a couple of you will be playing piccolo, but the notes are uh, exactly the same. OK, so um, if you have your music where you can pull it up, that way you can take a look at it. Um, what your part looks like is is this top line. OK, so uh, there's good news and bad news. The bad news is it's a lot of 16th notes. The good news is, is it's not that fast and it's about the same three notes over and over. OK. So if you take a look at it, and what I'll do is I'll pull up um, my piece. I've got 